and cut, period. Hey guys. It's Brennan. It's Brennan Stroud, the guy who you are here for, I hope. So today we are going to be doing the laziest form of YouTube content, a Q&A. I've only ever done one Q&A before, which was the spooky Q&A that we did last, that I did last year with my sister. We also did conspiracies in at the end of that video, so you should go check that out. I just felt like doing another one. I was inspired by my friend Amy, who just started a YouTube channel. Um, she did a, a Q and A on her channel, so I was like, I want to do one too. So we're just gonna get right into it. Scariest thing you've done? What is the scariest thing I've done? Oh yeah. So my good friend Jenna has a holiday house in. Clenamont, which is like this tiny little town thing that's like built on a river. So it's just like a river and then like houses. And she has a holiday house there. And last year in the December holidays, me and another one of my friends went to her holiday house. The one day what we did was she lives like at a house. Obviously she lives at a house, but like you can walk down and then right down there is the river. Basically there's just Obviously there's like little, there's not even little roads. Like I think there's one tar road in the whole of Clenamont. But through Clenamont, there's a, the highway. So you'll probably see it if you're driving to like, I don't know where you'd see it. There's a bridge that goes over the, um, the river. So one day me, Jenna and another guy who is from, not really from Clenamont, but another guy who was at Clenamont at the same time, we decided to take surfboards and paddle down the river to that bridge, the highway bridge, climb up like the side of it and then jump from off the highway into the river. But the thing is they were like, okay, Brennan, you need to do this quickly because sometimes cops drive on this road and if you get caught, you'll get in trouble. So I was like, you better stop. So I go as quickly as I can. I don't want to get caught by a cop because I don't want to go to prison. I jump and I, Ross and I must have done it another seven times like we did it so many times when we were all when like Ross and I had finished jumping We got our surfboards went onto the highway and ran from the bridge the highway bridge all the way back to our house And her parents drove past us and we got in trouble. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Last year our school did a production into the woods um, And my sister and I were both in it and I was I don't know if you've seen or watched the movie or something But basically it's a bunch of fairy tale characters and I played Jack like Jack the Beanstalk, you know um, I don't know if you know who Bob Evely is But he like gives out these prestigious kind of awards called Showtime Awards And he goes to watch like all the different plays in PE and then from those he chooses like which one he wants to give the awards to My solo because Jack has a solo, solo in the play. play my solo was coming up. I was ready to sing Bob Everly was sitting in the audience. I was singing and the one part I had to go up like these stairs that were on the stage it was, and it's like a rostrum so like there's a, a a platform on the stage I don't know I had to walk down the stairs in one of the um, the parts of the song so I'm walking down these stairs and for my costume I had to wear like these big like farmer vibe boots like leather boots and they were like a size or two like a size too big for me um but the costume um designer was like no you have to wear these like these are your shoes so i'm wearing them i'm walking down and these steps are like this thick and like the shoes are like that <laughs> so i'm walking down and i fall what is the best and worst thing about quarantine like, the worst thing about quarantine i think is not being able to see my friends i don't like online school it's very overwhelming I personally feel like we get more work than we would have if we were at school. The best thing about quarantine is being able to spend, like um, me and my family, we spend a lot of time together, um, which is so nice because spending time with family, who doesn't love it? One of the good things, and this is gonna be, okay, do you know what? Also being away from school, because school can become a really toxic place with a bunch of really toxic people, um, which is not good for you. The most attractive thing about a girl. Okay, okay ladies, take notes. notes. So number one, if she laughs at my jokes, if she replies fast, and the last one is, 
She needs to be genuine, you know. Will you marry me? And I know exactly who this is from. It's from my bestie, Gemma, and it's just a joke that we have. But I'm gonna give that one a yes. When do you want to watch another tour girl again? Yeah! JJ or JB? Sarah. When are you and your best friend gonna get married? Where do you buy your clothes? I buy my clothes from Gucci and Louis Vuitton. Music recommendation. I hate giving music recommendations because so many people don't like my music. I don't know what's up. Netflix recommendations. Oh, Outer Banks. That, that's who we were talking about earlier. Um, that's who jo JJ and John B is and Sarah is. If you're gonna watch it, don't judge me. You need to push past like the first two episodes. It gets so juicy nearing the end of it. It's you, it's amazing. Celebrity lookalike. What, do they mean like, which celebrity do I look like? I like to think that I look like Liam Hemsworth. Who's gonna tell him that he just doesn't look like Liam Hemsworth? Fave Bible verse. So I think my favorite Bible verses are definitely um, Ephesians 3 verse 20. Well, it's kind of more than that. If you really want to get into it, it's Ephesians 3 verse 14 to 21. Favorite word you've been given. So, um, I am Christian, I do go to church, um, and I do go to youth, and there's a lot of like ministry and stuff happening and prayer and all that. Um, I think my favorite word um, that I've been given is someone told me that I'm a prophet, which is like, um, at the time I, I was scared to go out and like help people and like pray for people, I guess. Um, and so that was just a really encouraging word. Um, to, it, it basically just encouraged me to go out and pray for people and talk to people um, and just spread the love. Favorite item of clothing in your closet? That's a hard one. I am definitely gonna say these pants. And if you're a true fan, you've seen these before. Favorite YouTube video you've made? I love the Fortnite video. I love that video. Firstly, it was so much fun to um, edit. It was not so much fun to film. Long story. Favorite TV show at the moment. My family and I were we were watching The Big Bang Theory, but we finished that. We've also watched Friends, but we finished that. And Out of Banks, but we finished that. I'm gonna say Out of Banks and Friends. Friends is just a given. Red or blue and why? I'm gonna say blue. Blue is kind of like the theme of my YouTube channel. Like my intro is blue, my outro is blue, and like my whole look of my channel is kind of blue. Why did you start a YouTube channel? Um, so I started a YouTube channel to, um, I really wanted to, in a way, help people and reach out to people. Um, I had this vision of, um, you know, just spreading joy and almost getting to know, even though it's a bit difficult to get to know your subscribers. Um, but I had this vision just to reach out and spread positivity and joy to people who I didn't know. So if you want to help, help that help dream that become a reality, reality, subscribe to my channel and... Oh my wait, my dog! Phoebe! Oh my I'm back. Dream place to visit. I really want to visit the Vatican City. I want to go to Nepal. I want to visit Bali, Rome, Paris, Germany, Switzerland. I want to go to the, the Europe. Not a question, but I dare you to eat a teaspoon of garlic. Um, no. If you would rate the alphabet from one to 10, what Power Ranger would you be? Fave YouTuber. We all know the answer to that. It's Miss Emma Chamberlain, okay? We love her, we stan her, and I like Lorraine as well. How are you? I am so great. Can we have more conspiracy videos with April? I want to, I, I, I've been asking her to do more conspiracy videos, but she's just like, yeah, maybe, maybe sometime. And then like, never does it. Fave actor, Margaret Robbie. I'm quite the fan of a, a good Jennifer Aniston movie, I'm not gonna lie to you. Fave animal, a porcupine, a manatee. <gasps> How do you come up with your ideas? I'm just gonna assume that she means YouTube ideas. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a big binger. I will binge like all of Emma Chamberlain's videos or like some other um, YouTuber before I'll find new videos. You know, I don't like copying another YouTuber's video. Like I'll never just straight up do their idea. Um, but I will take inspiration. Maybe I'll take that idea and add a bit to it or kind of change it to make it my own. But I do take a lot of my inspiration from other YouTubers. Is that the last 
Is this the last question? Yeah! So I guess the fact that we've gone through all our questions can only mean one thing. It's time for the cheesy, cringy YouTuber the outro. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, maybe even pop a like, maybe even comment. And you know what? Do you know what? You know what? Do you know what?